Yoruba Obas can decide if there will be Odudua Nation or not. Oluwo. The paramount ruler of Iwo Oshun State, Oba Abdul Rashid Akombi, has said that only the Council of Traditional Rulers in Yoruba land can decide if there will be Odudua Nation or not. He said that there are factors to consider before agitation for self determination of the Yoruba Nation can be pursued. Akombi told Sahara reporters that in an interview on Wednesday while reacting to a public to a publication that quoted him saying that whoever from Yoruba land does not vote in, for Blad Tinubu in 2023 is a bastard. He said about endorsing Tinubu, I'm not a politician, so I don't endorse people to vie for political seats. All I was trying to say was that Yoruba people should un, should unite to vote for our own people if the opportunity presents itself. If you look at me very well, I have always wanted the unity of the Yoruba people. But that's such a dangerous view to have and it's and it's like, okay, fine. I'm guessing this person is an influential um has an influential, you know, rank in the Yoruba society, but you cannot tell people to vote for somebody just because they're from their from their tribe. That's very you are literally you're you're literally highlighting how divided the country is because then it shouldn't necessarily matter where the person is from as long as the people want to vote for him for solid reasons you can't just throw somebody into a seat of power just because they're from your tribe that's very very childish while reacting to the rising agitation for self-determination of the Odudua nation he argued that the Yoruba will not will think of resources to sustain themselves, among other issues, before venturing into the process. He stated that only Lagos State has the capacity to be financially independent. Have you thought about the allocation of the civil servants? Have you thought about how to generate revenue to pay them? Have you thought about how to be financially independent? For instance, in Oshun State, about $2 billion is needed to pay civil servants. Have you considered that? Um, two billion naira is so. Who are the civil servants? Let's even start because you're not. You, I'm not. It's a, it's a different thing. If you're saying civil servants, as in, you know, the people who work in public hospitals, work in public schools, um, because if you're going to be saying public servants are politicians who are taking home thirty million naira every month, do they deserve that money? At the end of the day, I think. The, the fact is, I think this person is using the present situation of Nigeria to judge how Odudua would be like. I mean, it would, it might be the same if the people allow to be allow themselves to be disrespected by the government, and they do not hold, you know, the government accountable. Because you are, come on, these people that are in in the in places of power. They have degrees. These lot study economics. These people are professors of law, and you are telling me. That these ones are not, you know, skilled enough to make decisions that would affect the whole country with their years of experience, and you know, with their with the degrees under their belt. Like it, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. Because if Nigeria wanted to be better, there's nothing stopping it. There really is nothing stopping the country, financially. All that is all policies, protectionism. How is our domestic, you know, industries? How are they being protected? Do we even trade? See, these questions are the questions we need to be asking. Because the country is not even spending on industrialization. These things are not hard. So again, whether, you know, the what the issue of, you know, sustaining itself. Exactly. Because even him has bought into the corruption that Nigeria cannot sustain itself. That is an absolute lie. Absolute lie. Like from the, from, I don't know where the lie is from, but it's it's a lie. Some says then you will think of the other states. We have six states in the southwest. It seems only Lagos State has a capacity. That is such a lie. To a very large extent. Look at the UK. Okay, fine. Given their history, they did own half of the world at one point. Fine. We can ad- admit that. But when it comes to resources, <laughs> when it comes to natural resources, they're not as as blessed as Nigeria is. And you cannot tell me 
you cannot even even the know that everyone's talking about the northern part of nigeria that everyone is saying oh you know they can't they can't trade that, that, that. it's a lie they you there is always a way there is always a way you're telling me that in the western part of nigeria i mean talking about you know the yoruba states you're telling me that they have nothing to sustain themselves on agriculturally industrially industrially that's the thing if we're not making things on our own we're not spending our own money on our own things we're not even trading internationally how would how would the sustenance you know come from how would how if you know if if we're not making things and consumer expenditure is so high but it's not high in terms of that expenditure is on home produced products the money is going to be leaving the country which doesn't make sense like I I don't understand. It's these things are not hard. They really aren't hard. But I guess is this person some someone says politician kings we don't want them. Absolutely. Someone says that's why I like the fact that Igbos don't get easy. If you come out with a good vibe and we find out that the project has human face and we can reach sincerity and love from your handwriting, we will follow you without reminding who you are. Religion and politics will not give a will not give it a chance in your back quest for accomplishing a common goal. And I think as your back people, they need to start questioning this tenable man. Because I, I as an outsider, I as someone who is neutral and analyzing, what has this man done for the Yoruba people? Because it seems as though everyone wants to cling on to the identity identity like i said the identity is running away and i think this is the problem of having a too diverse country because the fact is the the attention is no more on identity but us as one people and i just do not want to lose that so again i think this man saying that you anyone who doesn't vote for tinubu or whatever whether it's true whether i said it or not that should never be a, a solid intention as to why you'd put someone in power because of your vote like with your vote like you don't do that that is so misinformed that is so childish that in in honestly it doesn't make sense it's a very stupid act it really is you need to question your motives because again this person's gonna be making except you're gonna have some yoruba kind of specific laws that this man has to follow but simply because this person has a yoruba name and is from your tribe now you you this person should be should be president doesn't it doesn't sit right, even with me not even being as a, being a Yoruba person. It's weird. It doesn't make sense. That's what I think about it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.